In the uproar following CECC Commander Chen Shizhong's mention of the term retrospective adjustment on Saturday, one thing is certain, the demand for rapid tests is booming. Now, Chen says enterprises may soon be allowed to purchase rapid test reagents themselves. An estimated 10 million rapid test kits are needed to meet the current demand. Biotech companies that recently donated reagents to rapid test stations in Taipei and New Taipei stand to benefit as orders pour in. Take a sample from the nostril, stir the extract in the liquid, and put it in the reagent. That's all it takes. In only 15 minutes, the result is out. This is the SOP for a rapid test for COVID. However, with the recent surge of local infections, rapid test stations and the amount of available reagents have not been able to meet demand. In the elevation of local infections this time, some have benefited as the issue gains attention. Rapid test makers such as PBF and others are likely the beneficiaries this time during the spike of domestic cases. There are three kinds of rapid tests. One is the nucleic acid-based test, or PCR, which requires at least two hours to get the result. And then there's the antibody test, which detects the antibodies secreted by white blood cells when the human body fights the virus. It is often used to follow up on cases that may have been infected with the virus previously. Finally, the most popular is the antigen rapid diagnostic test. Its accuracy is not as high as that of the PCR test, but it only takes 15 minutes to identify an infected patient. The problem is that it may yield results that are false positive or false negative. This wave of demand for rapid tests has also led to an explosion of orders to frontline suppliers. PCR tests are produced by biotechnology firms like GBC and GeneReach Biotechnology. Firms that manufacture the antibody test reagents include GBC and Taiwan Advanced Biopharmaceutical, and the sector that gets the highest demand, the makers of the antigen rapid diagnostic test, include Tidoc Technology and Enimmune. Many counties and cities have already set up rapid test stations. This is on top of an estimated 160 hospitals that are capable of carrying out rapid tests, as well as 65 rapid test stations that have already been planned or established. The demand coming from all these places is as high as 10 million test kits. These domestic producers of rapid test kits have all benefited. This time, as the pandemic heats up in overseas markets, the number of confirmed cases is also rising across the country. If this is the trend, then it should be an important government policy to set up rapid test stations. The recent remarks made by CECC commander Chen Shizhong alluded to the possibility of allowing corporations to purchase rapid test reagents. The biotechnology industry now stands to benefit as domestic demand rises after having responded to the demand from overseas markets.